Hello everyone, how's it going? Hope everyone had a good weekend. Uh, again, great weekend of sports, man. The UFC was on early morning here. Um, and then, of course, the football. It just looks like Man City's running away with it, but <laughs> I still have hope for Liverpool. So, we've got that little game in hand. You know, let's see. Let's just see what happens. But anyway, I thought I was just going to do this quick little case study. Um on these potential trades that you could have, could have looked to get into last week and basically the aim is to kind of just show you guys like that bigger picture just to follow those mitigations right just to be able to follow those mitigations because that's all what you're doing regardless of your time frames so here i'm just going to use the 15 minute and the one minute right that's it um and i'll show you guys literally just you know just following the mitigations and how you can get into these plays okay um so here on a 15 minute like regardless of what time frames you're trading on when you get to the chart you need to mark out your highs and your lows okay what is your significant high significant low swing high swing low basically right so for me that's my swing high which caused this swing low right so that is um how i trade okay this is my swing high this is my swing low some people when they trade i think they'll probably mark their swings like here or here and you know what that's fine nothing wrong with that but this is how i trade right so for me my swing from here to here now what i'm seeing right at this point in time is basically so supply right you just make this like this supply is being respected the supply chain is being respected here okay so if price is going to continue lower, right, if price is going to continue lower, price basically needs to respect this supply. Okay, because we've respected this, respected this, respected this, and there's newly formed supply here, which if we are going to continue lower, I'd want to see price come into it, respect, and then get down. Okay, now you can build other confluences. Right, the fact that we are making lower lows and lower highs on the on the fifteen minute, that's of course that's something you've got to look at. Right, the fact that we've got liquidity built up here in the form of trend line. Okay, so all these are extra confluences that you guys can look at. Right, now when price gets to that level or that zone, shall I say, just jump down to your one minute or your entry time frame. So for me personally, the one minute is my entry time frame. Okay, and just looking at this price action here, I'm not going to replay it, right? Just looking at this price action here. So we have basically a changing character right here. We've got a changing character right here, by all means, you can take an entry from right here. Okay, but essentially, what's being done here, it's simple, right? So it's literally the same thing as on a 15 minute, right? We've come into this 15 minute zone of interest, and now supply. Being respected supply being respected okay and then if you continue bearish right which in this case we do right so we continue bearish now we've got to think right this supply so for price to continue lower this supply needs to get respected right this supply needs to get respected and again you can add in additional confluence now so because price making low lows lower highs here and we've got this trend line liquidity and adding in these confluences is basically what's going to take you you know just improve your trading a little bit just understanding the bigger picture then adding in your confluences that you want to see okay and we're coming up we want to see this supply being respected right supply gets respected what happens we literally melt i think that was news as well Okay, but you see how it's literally the same thing. So whatever I drew out on 15 minute, it's the same thing here on the, on the, on the one minute. So literally, supply being respected, supply being respected, supply being respected. Right, and of course, if you're looking to buy, then you want to uh, see that respect. Um, you want to see that demand chain, demand chain being respected. Okay. Now, I did mention, I, I will do a video on this later on um, at some point, but I did mention chalk. Right. Now, chalk here on the one minute, and I did say I was only going to use the 15 minute and the one minute, right? But 
look same it's literally the same thing right if i just jump down to like 15 seconds it's the same thing right so look supply chain being respected little brick structure supply chain being respected supply chain being respected we don't quite come into this we don't quite come into this um supply chain but you know we've broken that structure so we need to basically um identify that next potential zone that price could come into right but it's the same thing supply chain respected supply chain supply chain supply chain right now look right chalk it, it's like something that it it's very useful but it doesn't really get talked about much but all it is look, look, look all it is really here is sms bms major bms we come into extreme and what do we have here sms bms major bms come into the extreme what do we have here sms bms major bms what do we do come into here because this basically mitigated the zone right so this is technically the extreme now we come into here and we just follow we're just following that supply chain that's it when we're selling we're just simply following that supply chain now whether you're using 15 seconds 30 seconds one minute five seconds I don't, it doesn't matter it's the same thing right so this here respecting the supply chain on the 15 seconds is what i just showed you guys here on the one minute so just get price back up supply chain being respected you know this supply chain being respected the supply chain then being respected this supply chain then got respected here right now this same thing on a bigger picture is what, what we're looking to happen on the 15 sec uh, on the 15 minute right and this is literally it basically and then you add in your extra confluences such as your liquidity right your liquidity into your zones into your uh, supply zones your demand zones your market structure and just you know understand that you don't need to complicate it, is what i'm trying to say you don't you really don't need to complicate it. so yeah that was just a quick little video on how you could have got into gone into these cells from in here from up here shall i say Right, just following that supply chain mitigation, just understanding you know, 15 minute has broken the law here. You know, we've got that bullish um, intent here. Right, supply chain is holding. You know, just these little things, you don't need to overcomplicate this, like I was saying. Right, and actually, let's just check this out. So, if I was just to target, so this week low, yeah, and jump to one minute. We could have potentially gotten in could have got in here let's go right there just gonna do it roughly right like a 2.5 stop loss whatever could have potentially gotten in here and by the way this little this price here yeah you could have had a reconfirmed entry on the second time frame from in here right there's a reconfirmation entry here on the one minute itself but if it wasn't clear you could have had it on seconds would have been much more clearer right but this is what i'm saying it's just the same thing again and again and again right and let's just have 2.5 again and probably the last place should i look to go get in was somewhere here right and basically We'll go with another two and a half pip stop loss which is completely fine for eu and target this week low right uh, let's just see roughly you know because you could have gotten in three times pretty much right and 18 percent nearly 19 again 18 17 percent and you know that's that's good going that's really good going do you know what i mean so you know how you get in like how you get in get into these trades and how you manage these trades is completely up to you guys right but just my point i'm trying to make here is just to keep it simple just follow these follow these um supply chains literally just keep following them keep following them until mar the market tells you otherwise at which point you have to just adapt and move that's it right so yeah anyway that's it for me today um i hope you guys found that useful just a little just a little tip on just how to keep it simple really 
And um, yeah, as usual, if you've got any questions, just let me know. But if you do enjoy the videos and the content on this page, give it a like, give it a share. And if you've not already done so, subscribe to this channel.